This is code.org, and we are draw the images in the asset manager of your scene. I guess we are going to. All right, guys, so remember, this is our asset manager. Click a poo. Why did I say click a poo? I don't know. Oh, okay, we got smiles and laughing and surprised and cool. So a few images. Uh, let me just bloop. All right, write the method create scene to draw images in your scene. You choose where you want to draw the images and the sizes. And they give us this option to do an animation if we so choose, which, you know, it's kind of cool. So we'll give it a shot. Regardless, we need to head over to create images, which is here. Ah, look, they gave us a helpful comment. Draw the images in the array. All right. So to do this, we have a few approaches we can take, but let's make sure we use our resources. And look, they give us an example right here what we would need to do to draw an image. So I'm going to go ahead and trust him on this, draw image, and then string is the file's name. Well, I can get access to that file's name by clicking here, and notice smiling.png. So I'll start there. Since it's a string, it's in quotes. Cool. And then we have X and Y and size. So keep in mind, guys, with our theater, there's an invisible magic graph behind it, all right? And way down in this corner, it's 0x400y, which I want you to pause and think about that because in normal math, right, this is 0, 0. However, this is the maximum y, the bottom, and the 0 for y is the top. x is normal. So it's good to keep that in mind when we're thinking about where to place these. I'm going to just do 100, 100 for x and y for now, just testing things out. And I think I'll do a size of 100 because I'm boring, but we're just going to give this a shot. All right, now what's it want me to do? We did this. This is not sufficient. It wants me to draw all the images, but I'm not gonna go through the trouble if I've already made a mistake. So I wanna get through this so I can debug it and make sure I have the right idea before doing the other parts. It's a good strategy with programming. Okay, so it looks like part two is here. Instantiate the scene object, all right. And why am I putting emojis right here? Well, if you notice, when we were in here, this constructor, which is what's used to make an object, has a, ver has a parameter. The parameter is images. So we need to provide it a list of images. Well, good thing we have an array of images right here. And so that's what I'm going to pass. Cool. Now that that is set up, we need to call create scene. All right. My image scene dot create scene and you're like cool i'm done i got my cool faces showing and it's not gonna work at all i know because that's what i thought and then now i'm re-recording this video <laughs> so pada and that's because we need to keep going keep in mind guys with the theater class to actually get stuff to show we need to use a um a library that they give us access to this method Right, so there's some static class somewhere, and if that doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. But they're telling us what to do here. Honestly, I'm gonna do theater dot play scenes. Now the problem here is we need a variable. We gotta tell it what scene to play, and it explains that right here. Well, depending on what you named your scene, I don't know if you called your screen object Fred, you would write Fred, but mine is bam. All right, and stop and. Oh, and this is why we debug. Oh, yeah, I'm calling the class, not the constructor. No need for those extra parentheses. <gasps> oh, hi! It's a smile. Ah, I'm kind of proud of that. Okay, so we got one. We're not done. We need all of the images. So there's a few ways to go about this. One, I can individually do this. Right, I can put all of the files down, you know, cool, blah, 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 whatever, and mess with these. This is 100% correct. I mean, I do need to have all of them here. Right, so this works too. I should space them out. Great, we got them. However, why not? There's a few modifications I want to make. First, let's do the movement. Use the play scene. Try using the pause and clear method to turn your scene into an animation. Add pause after the drawing each images or after drawing a set of images. Use clear method to clear the scene before drawing another image if you don't want the previous image to display. So 
what they're saying is if I throw, you know, pause, and this is in seconds, so I'm going to do 0.2 because this is a video here, and, you know, I'll throw it here. What's going to happen is they're up here in order. Well, delayed. Bah, bah, bah. So it's a bit of a feature that you can add. And then if you don't want doubling up, clear. It's kind of a fun way to do this. All right, we should keep in mind clear, and then we can put a color here. So clear white, clear red. It takes a parameter. <laughs> All right, I want to show you one quick other thing, and I'm going to slam this in and then explain. If you want to impress your teacher, especially if that teacher is me, you could do something like this. And how this works, guys, it's just a generic for loop, and I'm looping through the indexes. I have access to all of the images already. I don't need to hard code. I don't need to type in the name of them because I have an array of their of the string values, right? And so now I'm just going to use that. I'm going to loop through that array. How do I know this array has data? It's assigned in the constructor right here. Images is passed. This means the class's images right there. Now. It's assigned in the constructor, and so then it, this will allow me, hopefully, to do that. And I could even pause, of course, for longer. Pause doesn't appear to pause for as long as I would like in the loop, but regardless, pada. And if you really want to impress me, if I'm your teacher, 50 or your teacher in general, uh, what if I did times i? I could start moving this around on its own. Fancy. Regardless, this is totally correct. This is also. I'm excited to see what else we do with this. Onward. <laughs> 